In the last video, we talked about how to set up a gradebook for mastery-based learning, but one of the most important components is being able to communicate that data and information to the student and the guardian so that um, all stakeholders are able to take that data and use it for something. So I wanna show you my process of how I get this information to students so that they're able to take ownership of their learning that way. So here's the gradebook that we looked at last video. I take this and put it in one spreadsheet that has their cumulative scores. Now a little trick to show you, if you use Google, now keep in mind, this is gonna be Google specific, so it might not apply to everyone, but the concepts behind it might still be applicable. I use what's called import range. It allows me to pull data from one spreadsheet or one different sheet inside of this and put it on another one. So that's how I got all of this cumulative data here. These are the five skills that I have data entered in over here. So we've got it all in one spot and I use a tool called Autocrat. What that allows me to do is take the information from here and put it onto a template like this. Now I know this is fast, so you might wanna be looking some of this stuff up. I talked about Autocrat is the tool that I used and then import range is the function I mentioned. This allows me to take the data and create individual mastery reports for specific students. So I'll show you what this looks like. So in the spreadsheet, when I run it, as the teacher, I get a folder that has the student reports in there. I can open it up and I can see exactly how they did. So this student, this is their mastery report for the five targets that were listed. And then down below, one of the reasons I love this is it gives them space to be able to reflect on their learning this way. Now from the student end, I can set it up so it actually emails it to them. So they get an email in their inbox. I can, if I have parent emails, I can also send it to them there where they can go in and open it up and they can see their document and their results. So with that, that's just one way that I communicate the learning to students. The important thing to take away from this is no matter how you do it, students should be getting some sort of report, some sort of sheet, something that shows them their data, the record of their learning, so that they have control over it and they can decide what to do with it and how they're going to push their growth to that next level. So make sure if you're doing a mastery-based learning approach in your classroom, it, you really need to be intentional about getting students their data consistently so that they can be planning their own education and figuring out where they need to go next.